Hello and welcome to Markets View at Devin Joksi, a daily market podcast where we decode the Indian financial markets. After a truncated week, we start a fresh week and as we see the global markets update, the GIF Nifty this morning is trading higher indicating a start in the green for the Indian market. The Asian markets have opened mix where Nikkei did fall more than 1% and Shanghai is up around 1%. However, Hang Seng, the Hong Kong markets are shut. The China manufacturing uh, March manufacturing PMI were seen at 51.1 versus 50.9 in February and versus estimate of 51. Talking about the US markets, the US futures are higher after cash market ended flat on Thursday. The US market ended flat with Dow S&P 500 post record close on Thursday and Nasdaq was down around 0.1%. The US Fed PCE price index is up 2.8% in February in line with expectations. Dow S&P 500 did not show best quarterly performance in 14 years. The US quarter 4 GDP growth rate revised higher at 3.4% versus estimate of 3.2%. US weekly initial uh, jobless claims did fall to 2.10 lakh versus 2.12 lakh in the previous week. US Fed chair Davish uh, and uh, more good inflation readings needed is what the commentary comes in from the US Fed chair and US 10 year yield is steady at 4.2% post strong economic data and soft jobs data the crude has risen on the tight supply outlook where brent is about $87 a barrel and gold prices did hit record high and uh, did rise uh, as we see on stronger demand so all in all this is how the trade setup from the global markets look like for today Let us now take a look at the trade setup for today. After a long weekend, we are starting a fresh week and the market momentum turned strong on the monthly FNO expiry day last on the 28th of March as the Nifty 50 closed about 22300 after recent consolidation. Hence, if the index manages to sustain 22300, then a new record low, uh, then a new record high can't be ruled out in the coming sessions of the April series while the 22200 may be an immediate support. 22000 mark on 20th of march if we recall the sensex rallied around 655 points to uh, reach at 73651 while the nifty 50 jumped 200 points to close at 22327 and formed a bullish candlestick pattern with an upper shadow on the daily charts The index firmly climbed above the downward sloping resistance trend line with above average volumes and is now traded above all key moving averages The Nifty has rallied significantly surpassing uh, the 22500 mark after maintaining momentum beyond 22100 furthermore there's a clear breakout in consolidation on the daily time frame signaling rising optimism nevertheless the nifty encountered initial resistance uh, near its previous swing high of 22526 consequently to sustain a continued rally it must surpass the 22525 level decisively while on the downside 22200 could uh, serve as a short term support considering all of these we now move to the key support and resistance levels for both nifty and bank nifty nifty may face resistance at around 22359 levels followed by uh, the 22553 and 22688 levels on the lower side the index may take immediate support at uh, 22201 level followed by 22118 and 21983 levels talking about bank nifty in the last trading session bank nifty remained higher for yet another session and clocked around 339 points gains to close above 47000 uh, mark at 47125 the banking index uh, has formed a, a bullish candlestick pattern with an upper shadow on the daily charts indicating profit booking at the higher levels but still traded above all key moving averages The technical setup is uh, bullish and for the traders uh, now 20 day simple moving averages or 47000 could be an important reference point for the short term traders above 47000 uh, there are clear chances that uh, uh, bank nifty would uh, rally till 47500 to 47800 on the flip side below 20 day smi uptrend would be vulnerable According to uh, uh, if we consider the technical charts the bank nifty index may see resistance at 47181 followed by 47510 and 47744 on the lower side it is expected to take support at 46897 followed by 46752 and uh, 46518 so these are all the important support and resistance levels for both nifty and bank nifty we now move towards the stock specific news and we start with the uh, the banking major hdfc bank 
The private sector lender said the board has appointed Sumant Rampal as group a head mortgage business uh, with effect from 28th of March. Rampal, who is appointed in place of Arvind Kapil, was the group head business banking working capital, rural banking group and sustainability livelihood initiative in HDFC Bank. The next stock in focus is Torrent Power. The company has received a letter of award from Torrent Power Limited Distribution Unit for setting up 150 megawatt grid connected wind solar hybrid projects under the Green Shoe option. Keep an eye on Railway Cast Nigam as the state owned railway company has emerged as the lowest bidder for the upgradation of the electric traction system for the Kharagpur section of the Kharagpur division of South Eastern Railway to meet the 3000 MT loading target. The cost of the work is 148 crore. Hindustan Aeronautics is another stock we need to keep an eye on as the state-owned defense company has signed a contract worth 1,173 crore with Cochin Shipyard, Kochi, for the supply of six sets of LM2500 gas turbines and GT auxiliary spares tools for an Indian Navy Next Generation Missile Vessel project. Indian Metals and Ferro Alloys is another stock to focus on as the company has received board approval for withdrawal of the scheme of amalgamation of Utkal coal with itself from the BSC and NSC, uh, the scheme of amalgamation documents filed with the exchanges on 21st of November 2023. Canara Bank, last but not the least, the public sector lender has received board approval to dilute a 13% stake in Canara Robacco Asset Management Company via an initial public offering, which is subject to the approval of RBI and Department of Financial Services. So these are all the important stocks and news one needs to consider for the trading session. We take a look at the FIs and DIs data. The foreign institutional investors net bought shares worth Rs 188 crore, while the domestic institutional investors purchased shares worth Rs 2,692 crore on the 28th of March. So all in all, this is how the market check and the index as well as the market scenario for today's trading session looks like. We understand that after a truncated week, we are going to start with a fresh week and there can be a lot of ups and downs as well as action in the market. Nevertheless, irrespective of market conditions, research is the backbone of successful portfolio creation. Wealth creation is definitely the art that we understand. We at Devin Choksi have our exclusive research services which are powerful and successful. To avail our exclusive research services, we invite you to join us. Just click on the link below and you are done. Fill in your basic details and our team will reach out to you. So don't wait any further and embark on the wealth building adventure together. Thank you and have a nice day.